Arable land, rich human and natural resources, these and more are some of the endowments in the African continent. Despite all of these, a total of $35 billion is said to be spent on food imports annually. A situation, experts say, has led to job and capital flights. But this meeting with the theme, Feed Africa, towards agro-allied industrialization, is aimed at getting African leaders to put on their thinking caps towards changing this narrative. First to speak is the Vice President of Nigeria. He reels out some of the interventions of government to boost agricultural production, but says this must be sustained to feed Nigeria's growing population. We have decided as part of our strategic implementation plan for this year to prioritize the processing of uh, tomato paste so as to become self-sufficient in, in that particular product. The choice of tomato paste was predicated on our ability to produce tomatoes in large quantities several times a year, as well as its extensive use, of course, in Nigerian meals. We also saw it as an opportunity to generate a large number of agricultural jobs, but also as a means of adding value along the agro chain. Achieving this lofty dream calls for a concerted effort by all and sundry to reduce food crisis create jobs and improve the income of farmers. Officials of the African Development Bank promise that the bank will take a lead in this direction through various interventions. The African Development Bank will invest 24 billion US dollars into agriculture and agribusiness over the next 10 years. To take new agricultural technologies to scale, the African Development Bank will soon be launching an $800 million initiative called Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation, otherwise called TAAT. Other experts share their thoughts on how to ensure inclusive growth and the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. For the next few days, deliberations at this meeting will focus on how to improve productivity through increased funding and sound policies. It is expected that the resolutions reached will improve the agricultural sector's contribution to the socio-economic development of people in the African continent.